All right, so we just got this 15 step ladder here. I have a 12 foot by 12 foot opening on my barn. This thing is 11 foot tall this way, but it's like 16 foot tall this way. So we're gonna have to get it in this way first and then figure out some way to stand it up. And getting this thing laid down wasn't easy. Getting it standing up is gonna be even more difficult. All right, so we got all the straps off and I've tied two straps to the sides of that and to my bucket here. Now, I could have tied one strap and put it to the middle, but I didn't want to do that because I don't want to put pressure on that on that piece of tube steel there. Uh, because if I bend it, it ruins the structural integrity of the ladder. So I'm going to try to pull from the corners. Anytime I pull or lift, I'm going to try to pull on the corners and not on the middle of any piece of tubing because I don't want to bend anything. All right, so we got it in the barn. Now we gotta figure out how to get it stood up. As I mentioned, this is 11 foot tall this way. So I took a, all I had was a 10 foot tape, but uh, anyway, I put a tape down there and measured 11 foot back from my nearest pallet of junk. And uh, so I got the wheels positioned there. So if the, my wheels don't move forward, uh, then these wheels up here should land over there, right in front of the pallet. Now, as soon as I start lifting on the back of this, these wheels are gonna to touch the pavement and they're gonna start rolling. I know because that's kind of what they did when we put it, put it on there. So I've got these straps that are clamped here to the base of the, that support and go over there to the, um, actually my garage door railing, which uh, seems pretty sturdy. It's just got to keep these from rolling. It doesn't have to support any real weight. And then one over here on this side, same thing, same deal. And then um, I've got two straps that are positioned here at the top of the stairwell. And I'm going to pull the, I put the forks on my, my tractor wide. I'm going to pull the tractor up over the top of this, put those straps on there and see if I can lift this up at least high enough to get it to where it's wanting to tip forward. Um, I know I can't lift it up all the way, but if I can get the balance going that way, then uh, I can slowly lower it maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see how this works. All right, so I think we're close to being at a tipping point. Um, as long as my railing keeps sliding against my bucket, which it should, you can see my straps there are loose. Those are my lifting straps. So that means right now I'm just lifting on the railing up there. And I'm gonna throw a rope up underneath, up over the top there and see if I can keep pulling down enough. If I can lift and then this starts tipping, when this starts tipping, it should want to pull, the top should want to go forward and it should want to pull on these straps which will catch it. Hopefully keep it from slamming down. My only problem is right now, I don't know if my railing is also going to hit my rafters, but I think we're getting there. All right, we're getting closer, but we're also, <laughs> we're also about ready to hit our rafters. You can see there, 
and come over here to the side. They're going to hit. So the only thing to do to keep those from hitting is to back this whole thing up this way, which means we're going to tighten these straps here uh, and pull the bottom back, which should lift the top and also be able to let us back it up some and keep, uh, keep uprighting this. But we're getting closer. All right, so we have successfully put the, the ladder in place. Now, <laughs> one problem, leave it to me, that ladder is not going anywhere because it's stuck between the rafters. Uh, I wanted it that tall so that I could get up all the way to the top because I got wire and stuff to run, I'm trying to run wire around the top of that garage door is a, is a real pain on a, 12 foot ladder um, at any rate but those railings come off you can see right there that railing there comes off so I can take that railing off this front railing is held on by three bolts so one and somewhere in there there's two two and then three so I can take those railings off and move this around and then put the railing back on. It's a little bit of pain in the butt, but uh, for the safety of being able to do this without getting up on a 12 or 16 foot rickety fiberglass step ladder, I think I can live with it.